Hi, my name is Susan McCorkendale, and this is my pitch. So what do the Albert Memorial, the Susan G. Coleman Foundation, and Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here have in common? I'll tell you. They're all a result of grief. Each person involved in those endeavors took their pain and harnessed it to reach their fullest potential. Eight years ago, I lost my husband to cancer. At the time, everybody said all of the well-meaning things that we all say. You'll get through it. You're going to get over it. And it wasn't until much later that it dawned on me that it really would have been great if someone had said to me, hey, Suze, sit in your grief. Just sit with it. Let it wash over you. Let it inform you. Let it become part of you. Because unbeknownst to me, that's what I did. I let it become part of me. And eight years later, it is as much a part of me as my inability to balance my checkbook or parallel park my car. And while I can't say that I've done anything spectacular with my grief, like I have not yet built the next Albert Memorial, um, I don't think that it's the magnitude of the greatness that matters. I think it's that we take our opportunity to channel our grief and do great things where we are in our little part of the universe. So for me, I know that my grief has made me a much better mom. It's made me a much better daughter and friend. It's made me a ferocious autism advocate. And it's made me a better writer. Again, I haven't written anything as great as Wish You Were Here, but I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. um, so all I'd like to say is if any of you here this evening are grieving, if any of you know someone who's grieving, I would beg you to please change your thinking about grief. Don't see it as some distant shore you gotta get to. Just swim in the river. Don't see it as some bridge you've gotta cross. Stand on that bridge and take in the view. Take in the new view. Take your pain and use it to your fullest potential. Because from grief comes greatness. That, I believe, is the gift of grief. Thank you.